Hey guys, it's me Erika. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a battle of two matte foundations and maybe it is a dupe of the higher end one. So we'll see once it has been applied to the face and has settled and you know throughout the day. We'll see, we'll see. So let's jump right into the video. The foundations that I am testing out is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is it. In the shade 230. The next foundation that I am battling it with is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 103. So these are both matte foundations that you know is more intended for combination to oily skin but if you have dry skin and you would want to use both of these foundations i suggest that you moisturize and hydrate yourself really well because these are the kinds of foundation that if you have dry skin will make it more drier because they are really matte. So, let's jump right in. So, I'm going to squeeze the foundations on here. And this, like, what do you call this? This is like a metal plate. I'm just going to do two pumps. I think that is too much for half of my face, but yeah. Both of these foundation, I find that they dry fast, so you do have to work really fast on this two foundations. So these foundations I have been using for a long time, and I just realized why don't I do a battle of these two foundations, which are matte, and I feel like they have. The same look and same feel on the skin and let's see if the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation is a dupe of the Fenty Foundation or if it is better than the Fenty Foundation so yeah on this side I will be using the Fenty Foundation and on this side I will be using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation so they have this almost the same consistency the Fenty one is more watery or more runny than the L'Oreal Pro Matte. I'm going to prime both sides of my face. I use two primers. The first primer I'm using is this LA Girl Pro Prep and Prime. And yeah, I'm just going to squeeze that out on my hand. So I only use this primer on my pores just to fill them in and on my smile line so I just put some there and then I just spread it because whatever I do foundation tends to settle on this area and I hate it that is why I'm doing my best to like reduce that problem next is I'm going to use this Rimmel stay matte primer I use this all over my face basically because this is um, because this controls the shine for me not to oil up that much so I'm just going to put it on my forehead avoiding my eyebrow because I'm already done doing that then on my nose as well and the rest of my face so if you do not know I have extremely oily skin that is why I prefer matte foundations and I also prefer mattifying primers I'm just using my beauty blender I'm taking the Fenty foundation and I'm applying it on my on this half of my face so as you can see, the coverage on the Fenty foundation is good. This is why I love the Fenty foundation is that the coverage is really, really good. 
I have nothing bad to say about the coverage. It's medium coverage to full coverage. It is buildable, but you do have to work fast because it dries out fast. Like it really, really dries out fast. So, so yes, I am trying to put that half of on my face. So this is what the foundation looks on this side of my face. This is the Fenty one. And as you can see, it's matte, but it still has that like healthy glow. You see that. And by the way, I prefer putting foundations, especially the matte ones with a beauty blender because it somehow gives me that a bit of a shine so i'm going to layer a bit I'm going to try and cover the zits that is going i'm just going to try and layer just to cover up some parts of my face because i do have blemishes to cover so going to add the other thing that I do love about this foundation is that it does not grab onto my nose area because some foundation tend to like grab on my nose area and sometimes even though I am oily I have like dry patches on my face I do not know why I have those at times but there are those times where I have like dry patches and there are foundations that they grab too much on those areas but this doesn't even though it is matte so that is another thing why I love this foundation since we are done applying the Fenty on this side, let us now go with the L'Oreal in this side. I'm going to take some on the other, on the back of the sponge. I'm just going to hold that sponge like that. That is a product, that is a L'Oreal one. And let's apply it. So I'm still working on with my setup. So the ring light is coming soon. I already paid for the ring light. Um, the um, I'm already planning on buying a um, DSLR or an, a mirrorless camera. I'm still not done deciding deciding whether I should get the Canon 70D or the Canon M3 because I want to do vlogs. But I don't think mirrorless camera would perform really well on like beauty videos. But they do perform well on vlogs because I've seen some test reviews on it. And um, it seems to work well with vlogs. But I do not know if it will work well with my beauty setup. And if I would buy a DSLR, it's like too big. It's like too big for, you know, to hold when you want to vlog. So I'm still, I'm still trying to decide on that. But the ring light, on the other hand, is like going to be shipped soon. So I might have like a better filming setup because, okay, I am planning to show you my like set up right now maybe on, on on the next video or once i get the ring light i'm going to do an unboxing of it and i will take you to my filming my current filming setup and i'm still trying to see as you can see i don't have my shiny background there because i just put it up there i don't have it right now so i'm just like just like using utilizing my space here because yeah so let's go back to our topic which is the L'Oreal foundation as you guys can see oh my god I feel like they are similar they look similar 
don't they? I'm sorry if I keep looking on this side it's because I have my like monitor on here I actually found an application that would like because right now I am recording with my iPhone and I actually now found I found an application wherein I could mirror my phone on my laptop to make it as my reflector because on my last video the October favorite video the space up there was like way up there the space was like way up there and my f the frame rate was so ugly and now I'm trying to work to make a better like frame rates in everything so yes that's it and yeah all right. The only thing I hate on this foundation it is that it tends to grab on my on the on those areas where in I do have dry patches at times. So that's the only downside of this foundation. But a feel of it, it's more matte. This foundation also has a medium to full coverage. It is yes, it is buildable. The Fenty one has more coverage than this one. The Fenty one is almost full coverage while this is is like exactly medium coverage. So as the same with the Fenty, the same with the Fenty foundation, I am going to layer the L'Oreal side a little bit more. This is what the two foundation look on my skin right now. This is a close up, like really, really close up. Um, this is again with the Fenty side, and this is with the L'Oreal side. And um, as you guys can see, the I think I'm looking right now with the viewfinder, the l'oreal fenty so i'm going to see um do you guys see a difference i'm going to even get a lot more close up okay so yeah so i'm going to look now on my mirror and this is the fenty side and i can say that i love this side because it still has as you can see it still has that glow i hope you can see that i hope that reflects onto the camera and the light is reflecting on it it has more of that healthy glow but um what can i say it and it is a lot for me and it, it is flawless looking as expected this has been my ride or die foundation so i really do love this foundation and i know how it performs in my skin i wouldn't oil up as much i rarely oil up in this i rarely like oil up in the sense that it is too oily there would be times that i would oil up but it will just give me that very healthy glow as you guys can see it's not settling into my eye creases not yet settling on my um smile lines it has not creased yet it is not settling onto my lines on my forehead even though i do not have much lines on my forehead though so yeah it's a bit tacky but nothing to be bothered about it's not super tacky it does not transfer that much as you can see yeah it does not it does not transfer that much okay now let's move to the loyal side so going to look at this way this has like no visible shine at all as you guys can see it has like no shine it is not tacky it's not tacky I'm touching it and it's not tacky and as you can see there is no transfer or it has minimal transfer and um, it it looks similar they for me as I see myself so I have a big mirror right here I have my small mirror here I don't want to blind you I have the small mirror here and as I look at it I'm going to look this way they look similar 
they do look similar the only difference that i can see is that the fenty has more glow than my l'oreal pro matte it has this healthy glow which i do prefer i really do not like the matte that is like super matte and so yeah they they feel the same they are both lightweight the coverage is almost similar the fenty one has better coverage in my perspective in my opinion and what i've been saying the fenty one has a better coverage than the l'oreal pro matte the pro matte has no shine while the fenty has still still has the glow okay as you can see on my cheeks yeah sorry everyone is like loud one's like loud so if you hear some noises i'm so sorry this is my filming thing so i'm still work I, as i've said i'm still working out with my setup my backdrops and the lighting and everything but i hope soon enough i would achieve the perfect setup that i would love to work with so yeah for this um we just have to like bear with this setup for now from for now again so yeah um let's go back to the topic again and um of course the l'oreal is less tacky or it it's really not tacky the lawyer the l'oreal is like really not tacky the fenty one is kind of tacky both have minimal or no transfers at all both are flawless looking smooth looking both look beautiful on the skin to be honest um so yeah i'm just going to finish my face i'm going to use i'm going to conceal and then powder so the powder that i will be using because i normally bake we will be going out later so yeah i will bake so usually when we go out i bake my under eye my nose area my smile line and my chin and my forehead i will also be doing that for both foundations i just want this to you know give a fair fight because this is what i do whenever we go out or usually when even when i go to school i make sure to bake just to make sure that the foundation has that extra strength for it to stay on my face and for it to like hold on for more time so yeah i'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and i will be right back so hey guys i am back i am done doing my whole face I use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then I baked my under eye, my smile lines, my chin, and my forehead using the Cody Airspun Extra Translucent Powder. I did use it as well to set the rest of my face. So, um, we'll be going out. Magsisimba kami. Actually, I'll have a blazer later we'll be going to manawag if i'm not mistaken it's my first time going there so yeah um so everything blended well on top of the foundation um nothing wet patchy blotchy everything went well as i blended and did everything on top of the foundation and right now going to take a mirror and right now they look similar like I look at the mirror and I look at myself at the screen and they look similar as I look at myself here at my monitor at my laptop monitor I just I see no difference they look similar as you can see there is a glow on my cheeks that is because of my blush luminoso but after I set it with the powder the Cody Airspun both became matte like there was no visible shine on both everything blended well on top of it as I've said they looked similar on the viewfinder or on my monitor they look similar on the mirror 
here in my like small mirror I'm going to like look closely they really look the same on my big mirror in front of me here they definitely look the same I'm going to move close to you so that you, you can see this is again with the Fenty and this is again with the L'Oreal one so Fenty L'Oreal and as you guys can see they look very similar or rather in my perspective they really look similar no matter how much I look or no matter how often I look in the monitor they do not look like two different foundations at all they do look like really really similar they both look amazing right now wala pang nag oil up since it's just been minutes so it is now 12 38 i will be doing check-ins later so it's kind of hot outside we will see if both of the foundation will oil up if one oils up more than the other we'll see that later maybe i'll do a check in before we leave in a check in while we are on the van or we are in transit i don't know the right term but maybe i'll do a check in there and then once we get on the church i will also do a check in after the mass and all that jazz so i will just be checking in later guys again it's now 12 38 and i'll see you later guys bye so an update on the foundation it's now about 255 and again yung glow na nakikita nyo highlighter yan hindi pa po oily or what it's been about up mm. and same thing just up it up mm. same as same I'll check back later ito na yung foundation update 415 na ito na siya sobrang pinagpawisan ako habang nandun sa mask kasi sobrang init sobrang dami ng tao as in siksikan na tapos hindi na din kami nakaupo kasi sobrang dami ng anong tao so ito na so, medyo shiny shiny na ako dala ng oils at saka sweat yan pero magublat na lang ako mamaya once nakapas ko sa sakit so yeah guys i am back and this is my final check-in and it, it is now 8 10 in the evening so i've been wearing this for about eight hours or like seven and 30 minutes or so yeah so you guys can see my clothes are different you can tell that from my check-ins a while ago i had to change my clothes because i was wearing a dress and i might not be comfortable when um while we were traveling so 
I decided to wear pants in this top. I changed my lipstick because uh, I might be posting a, a vlog wherein we went to Manawag or Manawag and I or I'm just going to include that on this video. I'm still deciding what to do but basically I had to change my lipstick because I was just eating fries and it rubbed off so easily and I was trying to fix it by reapplying and it's too hard to reapply it and I just decided to wear this lipstick it's easier to reapply if I eat or whatsoever this is by the way the Maybelline um, creamy matte in the shade um, salmon pink yes so back to the foundation so I've said it's almost eight hours since I wore this and yes there is shine and as I see, so So from my view, I think that the Fenty side has definitely given more shine, provided na it's a soft matte foundation, while the Pro Matte is like really, really matte. The Pro Matte is really intended for oily skin. It is not forgiving for drier skins. But the Fenty foundation can be um, safely used for some drier skin types as long as you exfoliate really well. Now, as you guys can see, okay, I'm going up close. I will go up close so you guys can see. So, as you guys can see, um, foundation has rubbed off where I like put my glasses so because I was wearing glasses a while ago so definitely there is like um, going to be like the marks right there and see, this is the Fenty side so the bronzer the highlight and the blush are still there Fenty side and this is the Pro matte side, L'Oreal Pro matte side, and yeah, same the foundation, um, rather the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight is still is still there. Both foundations are still are still visible on my skin, and now let us blot. I'm just going to blot up close so that you can see how much oil I am getting. So first, I'm going to use this first blotting paper with the Fenty side so just going to blot like so ah. as you can see definitely my oil so I will try not to get onto the L'Oreal side but um okay. definitely definitely more shine on the Fenty side so I'm just taking away the shine on the side of my face. One. Then I'm just blotting. There's not much oils as you can see. It's not that oily actually. It's like just a shine, like a healthy shine. But I just wanted you to see how much of it is on the blotting paper and actually it's not that bad I wouldn't blot um, if it wasn't for this video I wouldn't blot just because I really like the glow it gives so yeah so now I'm going to blot the L'Oreal Pro Matte side we'll see how much oil we get I like that And I'm just, you know, sticking it to my face to see if there would be oil sticking up or what. I'm just, you know, trying to get all oils. So this is the oil that I got from the um, L'Oreal Pro Matte side. It, it's the same. It's not much oils. I wouldn't really blot if 
this was the case but I just wanted to show you comparisons of um, the how much oil has been produced the Fenty Beauty Foundation the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation definitely has a little more oil or got a little more oilier than the pro matte side I did expect that because the pro matte is like really intended for like super for those who have extremely oily skin like me and the pro filter foundation is actually marketed for combination to oily skin but I've seen a lot of dry people or um, dry drier skin texture um, use it and they can get away with it and they, it looks beautiful in them but the pro filter one I think you would have a little harder time working on it so basically when it comes to oil control the pro matte is better so we went so when we were at Manao there were so many people so many people in inside the church we didn't even seat we we weren't able to take a seat because there were so many people and then it was so crowded I was sweating so bad I said earlier that I would blot once I get into the car so I tried to blot both sides and there weren't even oils like that was um, incredible imagine that it was so so hot inside the church and that we were walking around the church because it, it it is our first time going there I mean me and my mom and my pamunkin or in my, my niece as you've seen her it's our first time really going there and so we had to look around we even lighted candles we took pictures and um, it was a surprise that when I got inside the car and I blotted there weren't oils like I tried to blot but there weren't oils and that was um, impressive for me the thing is why the Fenty Pro Filter stands out more for me well in my opinion I love the Fenty Beauty more than the Pro Filter I or rather more than the Pro Matte is because it is soft matte so it still has that glow although it controls your shine another thing is it doesn't settle as much into my lines this did a little settling but not too much not nothing crazy it just settled a bit here but it's nothing crazy I mean I got worst I got foundation who did worst on that department settling those but um yeah it, did, it doesn't settle that much and um it doesn't grab onto my dry patches when i have one because there are times that i would have that dry patches i'm having the time of the month and i have to wear a foundation i would choose the fenty beauty because that one doesn't accentuate the pimples like the pro matte just because it is dry it is super duper dry it was like or rather it is matte it super duper mattifies your face and then it accentuate like every single detail of your face and most of the times it is not flattering so here is the deal um is it dupes technically i don't i wouldn't say it is like dupes but they're almost the same they are similar but not dupes like not straight up dupes but if you are looking for like a really matte foundation that is more affordable than the Fenty Beauty go try the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation and you can buy it easily it can be bought on department stores they have it on Watson so it is easy to find and it's a lot cheaper so I guess it runs to 800 to 900 but I got this on sale I guess it was just 600 when I bought the um, L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation and 
it was like a good deal it gives you oil control but it's kind of tricky to work with it is better to work with with a sponge because it seeps the excess and it doesn't give you that matte super matte once you use a brush with it it's going to look super cakey and super matte and I really don't like using a brush with it in the pro filter or the Fenty side, I could get away with using a brush or using a sponge, but I really do prefer using sponges. They are similar. When I say similar, they have similar feel. And they are both lightweight. They look similar once you have set it. You cannot see any difference. But once it oils up, you will see the difference that, yes, as I've said and I, as I've repeated a thousand times, that the Fenty Beauty produces a little bit more oil but not really a big of a problem. They both don't settle onto lines that much. In terms of price, the Fenty Beauty is a lot costly, as I would like to say, or a lot more expensive than the L'Oreal Pro Matte. So if you are on the budget and you're looking for like a really good matte foundation, you can go and try out the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. Now if you are you have the budget and you want to splurge and you want to try the Fenty Beauty, I would suggest that you can also try it. Again, they are not totally dupes, but they are like similar it's like they are sisters but they are not twins so guys that's it thank you guys for watching and i hope you like this video give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below to be a part of my family thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys